Hello, this is Kayla Tran Plays, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival. In the last episode, guys, we did a montage of just mining in our tunnel mines to get an absolute butt ton of resources. We got like four stacks or so of redstone, a couple of diamonds, and a bunch of iron as well. So, yeah, that's what we did in the last episode. Today, guys, what we're going to be doing is using the redstone we got in the mining to start building the redstone for our melon and pumpkin palms. So if you like the sound of that, please make sure to leave a like on the video. And if you really enjoy, please make sure to subscribe. It would be appreciated. And without further ado, let's get into this. So, yeah. What we're going to do is pop straight down here. And, yeah, this place is looking a lot better without all the dirt in. Because, um, yeah, all the grass is already spread. So I could just take out the dirt. And the only dirt that's kind of left is this stuff in here that hasn't had time to spread yet. And so today, the thing we're going to be doing is the redstone. And that's going to be in this kind of two wide section at the back. And you know, it doesn't look like a lot of space to the redstone. But honestly, it is. The redstone does fit in there. It's really actually easy to fit it in. So, um, first of all, what we're going to do is find the center. So, like, um, here. And we've got like one off center, so if I'm trying to explain this, like we have to have a two wide thing in the middle, but um you know, since since the entire room is like one is um based on a one block thing, we have to have it off to the side by you know, just like just one block. And so ooh, I think there's one thing I forgot to make while I was um preparing for this video and that's the comparators so once I am um, like once I put in all the circuitry that needs to be put in I'm, I'm just gonna put those in afterwards but yeah this is basic what we're doing here um, this is basically what I did what I showed you in the video where I am um, like where I showed you how to actually make this so what we need to do is this this, these two hoppers here are like the timing circuit, so I'm just going to chuck like three three stacks of blocks in there. That'll probably be enough for now. And all we want to do is take out the redstone repeater here, run it into a sticky piston, which is going to have a block on top. And then we're going to have this running out on a two tick thing into some more blocks. So let's get some cobblestone. But that's gonna have some redstone torches on it, so here we go. There one there and let's see if we can place the other one here. Uh, no, up there. And on top. Jump up. Oh, went too far. I'm I'm gonna keep going till I get this in here. So hit yeah, so we go. That's where that needs to go. And then we're gonna have like a redstone line running along the top here, which is gonna be um just powering the pistons. If you want to know what all this setup is, this is basically just a system to, um, um, okay. with our melon pumpkin farm, it's based on, like, timing. Um, what I'm trying to say is, like, the pumpkins and melons, at a certain point in time, they will grow. And when they do grow, um, you know, there's not really a way we can make the pistons fire off without, um, using observers like without having to use a clock so what we what we have to do here is make a clock that fires off every one every now and then and when it when like when this wrestle block shifts because like all the all the items have gone from one hopper to the next um then a signal will get fired through the system the pistons will pop off any pumpkins and melons that are currently grown and then um and then you know, we got our melons and pumpkins collected down the front here. So, this, although it doesn't look like much, is pretty much the entire circuitry for the machine. Like, all the, like, the rest, the rest of the circuitry is basically just a line of redstone running along the top here. And, yeah, that, that's, that's kind of it. So, all we need to do now for this circuitry on this level is chuck down the redstone the whole way along and this is a bit tricky to place in but you know, it's fine this like, 
honestly, this system, it may it may look hard to build, but you know, after like I don't know, um, you have like you know what you're doing. You you watch you watch the video, which I'll probably leave a link to it um in this video. Yeah, you watch that. See how this is done, and after that, you'll be able to like build this circuit pretty much any time you need. Like all like the only thing that may um may come at a real cost is the sticky pistons because you need slime balls but out of episode guys like while i've been trying to get all the white dart like the bone meal from skeletons for all the white concrete um i have been needing to go and um go i have been needing to go outside and um fetch the skeletons to get the bones and you know recently like usually i go hunting the skeletons over that area, like by the, in that spruce wintry area. But recently, over there, you see there's kind of like, if you can see in the distance there, there's kind of like a swampy area. Like, now, I am, um, I tend to use that a lot more for my, um, for getting like different types of mobs. And since I started going there, I have been getting you know, a lot more of the mobs that I needed. Like, um, Slimes, like slimes, they tend to spawn generally in the um in the swamp, and so it's actually been really easy just going there to get what I to get the um get the things I need the uh get the slime balls from the slime because honestly they spawn like like anything over there, and just need to make a bunch more torches. How many? I need three for a comparator, and I need four of these, so make a bit, make some more of these. One, two, I can make another comparator, but then I need like four more torches again, so one, two, and here we go. Four more torches, one, two, three, four, and yeah, as I was just, like I was just talking about, um, over there, it's kind of like a really swampy area, if I can just show you quickly, and um, I, I just, I went there like one night and I'm pretty sure I gathered up a hefty amount of slime balls. I gathered up like, I don't know, 20 to 30 slime balls. Like it's ridiculous how many slimes you can get in this single swampy area if you just go around killing them. Like, you see this swamp area? I mean, granted, it does go up the hill a tiny bit and this direction. But honestly, this this slime, this um, swamp area is it's kind of tiny. And so, like, I'm really surprised that I managed to get as many slime balls as I did. And, um, yeah, just just telling you how I got all those slime balls. And, you know, it can be difficult to actually find slimes, but once you have an area that um, that gives you a load of slimes, it's, it's really easy to just keep going and getting them. And, yeah, I have 30 slime balls in there now, and I have to use, like, four of them for the piston, so... All, all together like 35 slime balls and that's like after at maximum before that I've had like 10 so from one night like it, it was literally just one night down in the swamp I managed to pick up um, like, uh, 25 yeah 25 what, what, seven, nine, yeah 25 slime balls and again I forgot to get some while I was up there I need to I'll get it next time I'm up there. I need to get like a bunch of um just a bunch of any type of blocks just to go in the hopper clock because you know you can't have in the you can't have a clock about transferring items where you aren't transferring any items, you know? And now in this side of the build in the of the um area, we're basically just going to do exactly what we did on the other side. So yeah. Let me just do that quickly. Um and now I have the comparators, it's, it's actually a lot easier because as soon as I put items in, I can show you that it works straight away. But um, seeing as I forgot to get the items while I was up there, I guess you won't see how it works straight away, so sorry about that. Um, yeah, anyway, we're putting our repeaters here, this one on two ticks, take out this block here, and then we shove a, piss shove a sticky piston in here, block on top, then get these going up the side with the redstone torches on and one here, one here 
That's good, that's all hooked up for one that side. Then we want another repeater out here. Another repeater on two ticks. Another blog dug away where we stick our piston, our sticky piston. Then two blocks up like that, two torches, and now again it's just the redstone line. So can you see how easy this is guys? Like it may look difficult, but once you get into the pattern of it, it's really not that hard. And I'm glad in the last episode that we managed to gather up so much redstone because it's coming in very, very handy now. Like I I'm going through quite a lot of it as well. I think I started I, I ended the last episode with like four to five sacks of redstone and I think like I may have gone I think I've gone through about I don't know, um stack ish, stack and a half, I don't know. But I've gone through a lot. And we've done the circuitry for both sides of this system already. I think that's impressive. Really impressive. Um, but anyway, yeah. We need to get like, um, what is it? Let's see. Do I have enough space in my inventory? I need like, um, I need uh, seven stacks of blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I, I used to have enough space to get all that stuff in there. So yeah, I, I'm just going to get like seven blocks of cobblestone and... Um, yeah, I'm going to make sure that the clocks, um, when I did the tutorial for how to make this farm, I only put in about two and a half sacks of blocks for each, um, timer, but, um, after, like, after waiting a while to see if any pumpkins had grown, none had, and so, seeing as it takes so long for the, um, pumpkins to actually grow, pumpkins and melons to actually grow, uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seeing as it takes so long for them to actually grow, um, I just ha I've decided just to um, just to absolutely fill up the hoppers, so I have like the maximum amount of delay because you know, since it doesn't grow that often, I thought I don't want it firing. I don't want the system firing off a load of time and like causing unnecessary like lag in the background. I just want it to do function as it should, and that that's not a good sign when there's a creeper in your redstone. Oh my, oh, oh, that was scary, honestly. You never want a creeper in your redstone. And what's happening here? A second, um, ooh, let's see. Do I have, I can make a lever quickly. I just want to power down this system very quickly. Um, I can put redstone on top here and fix this lever. That should stop any items traveling through. So I just want to make sure I have like the entire amount I need in here. So, there we go, that's all good, so now if I break this away, I get the lever as well, there we go, this system should be working fine, that's going to go through its cycle, every now and then it's going to fire off, and we're going to get the pumpkins being shot off as well, and yeah, I need, I need to put in the farm section next, don't I? I, I guess what I'll do, is I'll start it, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, I'll start the cyst I'll start building it, but I, I know I won't get it finished in this episode, or at least I don't think I will. So, here's what we need to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in this side, and then I can go over to the other side. And I can also break away these blocks because the grass has started to spread. So, there we go. One, two, three, four. There we go. And now we can just break away, now we can put down these pistons, one, two, three, four, five, six, oops, five, six. take away these ones, so, yeah, I want them to be facing out to push off the, ugh, to push off the pumpkins, and why is this happening? Why is, why is that happening? Well, at least it didn't happen that time, yeah, um, yeah, now all we need to do is, like, build the system, like, next is literally just the farm. Like, not, not anything special, just the farm, that's it. So, like, right now, I think what we need to do is get just a bunch more dirt, and that should really cover us for, um, really the expenses we need to, expenses we have to do in this build, if that makes any sense. But, um, yeah, what am I doing here? Uh, literally, this... I can um, put the roof on it now, like at this height, because this is, the height of this farm is four blocks, 
Like in comparison to some of the other farms that are in this um, section, this one is really low down. It's only only four blocks wide, and there you can see the pistons just went off. Yeah, this one, four blocks tall, and I think six blocks back. So um, it doesn't take up that much space. Like unless you're thinking about the um, you know the the length of it, which is like seventeen. Like I'm ashamed that it's so big, but you know. Sometimes you have to have things large. Um, yeah, the length is 16, so that's the length is 17. Sorry, so that's the only downside to this farm. Like the only downside to my farm is that it's quite a long thing, quite a long build, but it does its job. And it, like, in comparison to um, maybe other farms that are this that are doing this farm the same thing. I think it's pretty small. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm just chucking in this glass here, and I'm gonna leave like a two wide thing in the middle, yeah, so I can get in and out when I need to for the actual redstone stuff. But if I wanted to leave it here, all I need to do is chuck in the dirt, chuck in the melon seeds, and the water, and that's it. And I, I can do this on the other side, guys. I reckon I can get this these farms done in this episode. Like not necessarily the rooms around them, but definitely. Definitely just the, um, definitely just the farm, like, yeah, so, what I want to do now, as I did before, this line of concrete down here, and we leave, like, this, um, this, like, line box here, this is just a gap, this, that's where the, the where the dirt's going to be, like, where I started showing it on the other side, but, you know, we don't have the dirt right now, so we can't put that in yet, and, uh, yep, yeah. I think, for this build, like unlike um unlike the other farms we've done um in this base, I think for this farm, this is actually one of the ones where I've prepared too much concrete. Like for the rest of them, I was always like honestly, I was really on the edge, like super close all the time, with the amount of concrete I needed and the amount of concrete I had. After this build I think I'll still have like, a stack of white concrete left over. I say that's pretty good. Um, I say this farm that's actually pretty good for resources. Yeah, that is amazing. I, 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 I had like four stacks of blocks ready, and I'm st I'm still left with a stack and ten left over. I think that's just pretty. That's pretty brilliant, isn't it? Anyway, I need to go get some dirt and some water buckets as well as a hoe and the seeds but that should all be easy that should all be easy i know where it is and you know, one thing is one perk one um upside i guess for these farms is i do not need to create a hoe like unlike other farms like you may be wondering why do i not need to make a hoe well that is because of something absolutely um stupid that they stored in the woollen mansion and where's that monster where's that where's that zombird where is it I can hear him here he is right around the back of my face come on get up get away from here no one likes you ooh yes that that's amazing guys what he just dropped absolutely amazing we now have a potato you may think that's an, that you may think that's not very impressive you may think that's very boring but a potato that's no laughing matter guys we can now start farming potatoes, and really I should also start farming carrots, but I haven't bothered to do that yet, so, yeah, all I want to do, clear out one space here, don't plant seeds back down, just get a potato in here, and ooh, I think I just wasted an ender pearl, I just wasted an ender pearl, didn't I, yeah, but well, shoot, anyway, I'm just going to plant a carrot, and, yeah, plant a carrot here, take this with me, I'm just going to stick it in one spot in there, and then, yeah, dirt, dirt, then, yeah, what, what do I need again? Dirt, hoe, seeds. So, yeah, in the, um, well, a mansion, for some reason, they just have a load of diamond hoes. Like, I, I don't know if that's normal, but I just thought I had quite, I got like three or four diamond hoes from that place, and I just thought that was quite a lot. Anyway, we need, um... We got the pumpkin seeds, now where, where are some melons we can grab, so... 
one like seven of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. And we can craft these up into seeds. So, boom, boom, boom. Got all those. And, yeah, now we just need some dirt. And, yeah, this should be enough here. So, down we go back into the farm. And I'll grab, get my bucket, bucket out to jab, to grab me some water on the way in there. So, here we go. Back in here to finish up the actual farming. And, I've just remembered I need to put hoppers and chests in, but, now I think, I think what we've done today, we've done the circuitry, we've done the hard bits of the farm. So I think next episode, you know, we can afford to just, um, we can just put in the stuff that isn't, like, the stuff that actually harvests them. Like, we can afford to just, what, what's happening here? Um, never mind, I, th I thought there was something up with the redstone. Anyway, yeah. Next episode, I think we can afford to just... Ooh. I'm not gonna like that. I need to, um... I need to fill in these bo blocks here. Yeah, that's something I didn't think of. Ooh. That's gonna... That's gonna be not nasty. Not noise. Why was I saying noise? I don't know. Anyway. Box in here. Ooh. Broke the redstone here. Let's stick the power back in there. Come on. There we go. That should hopefully have fixed everything, and yeah, now we just need to keep going, placing our blocks down here, and you know, next episode, I think the plan should be, we put in the collection system for these um, farms, then we, you know, then we decorate the rooms in the jungle theme like we have been doing, and then, you know, if we have some spare time, you know, just do whatever we want, have some fun, play around, and, you know, I have had one idea, one idea so far that has sprung to mind. And that is, you know, since we got a load of slime balls, and this has some new metals, by the way, yeah, since we got a load of slime balls, why not make a lead? And you may be thinking, what do I need a lead for? Well, I'll tell you. I need a lead to get... I, there's a certain mob I can tame, but I can't bring back to uh, my house. And that mob is the llama. The llama... The one mob that I really kind of want in this series, like, I haven't said it a lot, but I don't think I've actually said it at all, really. Like, we saw a llama in one of our earlier episodes, and I kind of just thought to myself, yeah, I want a llama. Like, we tried to tame it, and then went down into the mines, but, um, you know, we didn't get the llama. And so, what I want to do is, since now we have slime balls, we can go up there, try and tame, go up to the mountain, try and tame another llama, and then, you know, bring him back home, introduce him to, um, to the family we have going on. Because, you know, I didn't think about it at first, but really, we've created a family in our, um, in our base here. So, you know, we have, we have all our dogs. We got Perky, the pink one, Jumping Jeremy, the magenta one. We have Ollie, the orange color. Then we also have... Lucky, red collar, he only took one bone. Then we also, we have two others. We've got Lil Bruce, who, um, I don't know, I just thought that was a nice name for a dog. And then we also have, last one, Speedy, who, um, tried to get away from us when we tr were trying to tame him. And, yeah, we just got a live demonstration of the, of the, um, pistons firing off, like we did before in the other chamber. But, yeah, now we can just place in these seeds. And all you need to do now is just like literally one more bucket of water and that will do it. And I realise I need to break away this block, so I think I'm gonna do that after I've chucked in the last bucket of water and placed down the last seeds. But yeah, we're gonna tomorrow, like in the in the next episode, we're gonna try and get a llama. And we're gonna like after we finish up the farms and the rooms, we're gonna try and get a llama, see how that goes, and just you know, try and generally have a more relaxed episode than, you know, all redstone, all circuitry and stuff. So, yeah, I hope you're looking forward to the sound of that. And now I literally just place in one more bucket of water. Ho, seeds, ho, seeds, ho, seeds. And, yeah, now the farm is basically done. All I need to do now is wait for the stalks to grow. And then, you know, after that, all that will happen is um you know they'll start they'll start growing actual pumpkins and actual melons and we'll have a fully working farm so guys 
If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like. And if you enjoyed, please make sure to share this video with your friends and subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Kaylatron Plays, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!